I've removed the tumor and placed the catheters. Now I'm going to flood the abdomen with heated chemo. You saw chemo. tonight on Grey's Anatomy. It's a new weapon in treating cancer known as heated chemo. But it's not TV drama fiction. That very treatment is being used right here in Maryland on patients with advanced abdominal cancer. And as Linda So tells us, the results are very promising. My wife babysits now, she works, so I go Matt Blaskovich fought the toughest battle of his life as a 9-11 firefighter. He had no idea he would be fighting for his own life several years later. I went to the hospital, and uh, I tell you what, it was the most excruciating pain I ever had. Pain that would reveal something much more serious. Doctors found a tumor in his appendix. Turns out the cancer had spread to his abdomen and chances of survival were slim. But an experimental treatment involving heated chemotherapy gave him a second chance. Dr. Armando Sardi from Mercy Medical Center performed the major operation. They cut you from, from stem to stern. I, I like to call it, so they fillet and saute you. In essence, what they do. They, they cut you open, they take out your tumor, they, you know, they open you up to the world, they take out all the tumors. And then when it's done, and, 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 and the big thing is this heated chemo bath that they give you. And, and while you're still open, they circulate for 90 minutes uh, a chemotherapy solution throughout your whole abdominal cavity. Doctors say heating the chemo solution kills cancer cells more effectively. And more importantly, it can save lives. We are talking about people who go back to normal quality of life, normal life, and living for a long time, many vain cure after they have been told to go home and die. That's what happened to Iris Thomas. She had appendix cancer that had spread to her abdomen and filled her belly with fluid. She was only given a few months to live. Um, I just felt as though I had to fight, and that's what I did. She underwent the aggressive treatment and is now healthy, enjoying retirement with her husband. I consider myself a miracle as well, so it, it means so much to still be living, still being able to go about your everyday normal life and I've been able to do that and, and I thank God for that. The majority of patients that need this operation don't even know that it exists. It's not even being offered by doctors and when it's offered, insurance denies it. That's why Dr. Sardi and his patients want to spread the word about this promising treatment. For anyone that has been diagnosed, if they can just get this treatment, if they can come in and see a doctor like Dr. Sardi, there's hope. It was the best day I ever did. He saved my life. In Baltimore, Linda So, ABC 2 News. And every year, Dr. Sardi has a reunion for his patients. The goal is to raise awareness about heated chemo and its effectiveness so insurance companies will stop denying coverage.